Hey everybody, uh, I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Things have just been really busy uh, in my life, so I haven't really had a chance. Uh, a couple days ago it snowed here, and I decided this year I was going to be lazy about it. And uh, I helped my wife uh, shovel snow off of and out from around her car. And I said, screw it, we'll use your car if we need to, and I didn't. Uh, I just said I'm going to leave, leave it on mine and wait until it melts. Uh, which it has been doing because it's was like super cold below freezing for a while. And now we've got a couple of days where it's going to be like in the mid to upper 40s, 50s. I think even Friday here it's supposed to be in the 60s, which is really weird and unseasonable. Uh, but uh, yeah, like I said, lots of things going on here. Um, that's enough about the weather. What I really wanted to talk about was Bonacera. Uh, I did notice on the change log for the in development uh, painted lady, which is Bodicera version 39, that they did change the release date a uh, month to March. Uh, it was originally set, or at least a little while ago, it was set to February, but it looks like they must think it's not going to probably happen in February, so they've pushed it to March at this point. Uh, again, uh, Oh, when they release is entirely up to them. Maybe they'll get it out sooner. Maybe it'll be after March. Who knows? Uh, things happen. Uh, but here at the top, they have a new special note that I see that got added. Uh, basically saying that emulators which use Wine are now going to use the Glorious Egg Roll Custom Runner. Uh, and they explain here how it affects like save games and where save games are going to be created in the future as opposed to their current location. Uh, so if you are using something, uh, if you are using an emulator that uses Wine, uh, and you are using something like Sync Thing to back it up and share it with other devices, you know, keep this in mind that the location where they get saved could potentially change. Uh, but that's just something I noticed just today, just a few minutes ago. Uh, what I really wanted to talk about was over here on the Botocera Wiki, specifically on the V Pinball page. Uh, there was one thing I noticed. Uh, and it looks like they've made several changes here. Uh, we scrolled down just a little bit. Ah, it's the all pads section. They now have all the pads for version 38. But they have a new entry for version 39. Uh, because the default configuration in version 39 is going to change for Visual Pinball. As far as the layout of the files and where you need to put things. Uh, it says here, due to the huge amount of files per table, it is recommended to opt for a folder per table organization, which is the default starting from version 39. Uh, and they give instructions here. Uh, how to make this change. Uh, but I'm assuming this will be done for you in 39 if you're doing a probably a clean install when 39 comes out. Uh, but otherwise, it looks like you'll need to make these changes, which is to open the uh, vpinball x.ini file and go to where it has pin main path equals and change that to pin main path equals dot slash, which uh, is telling it the current directory. So what it's going to do is when you launch a VPX file or a VPX table, it's going to assume the pin main path is in the same directory as where that VPX file is that you launched. Uh, what this means is uh, for things like pin main tables where you may have ROMs uh, and potentially other files, things you were putting under user data, system, configs, vpinball, pin main, um, that's all going to be contained in a folder that has your vpx file. So you have, so under user data roms vpinball, you'll have a folder for one table. Inside that folder, you'll have your vpx file and any other associated files like your vbs file, or a direct B, B2's file.
Um, but what's really new is also inside that table name folder, you'll want a ROMs directory. So the pen name ROM will go under, wait, actually it is, yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> sorry, I got a little confused for a second. So yeah, so under user data ROMs v pinball, you'll have your table name. Inside of here will be your VPX file and your VBS file and any other associated files. And inside that folder, you'll have another ROMs folder. Inside there is where you're going to put your pin name ROM. Um, and this uh, little table here goes over the layout, how everything's laid out and descriptions for each of these folders. With vPinball standalone, you know, you can run that on other machines. You can just run that on Linux. And I think it defaults, like the default behavior, if you don't configure anything, is it, it expects the pin name folder to branch off from your home directory in Linux. And when they added it to Botus Era, they just set it to be, uh, they configured it so it would be the user data system configs vpinball pin name directory. So they're just changing that up. Uh, again, I think it's a good organization. But anyway, I just think this is cool and I wanted to bring this new, um, how things are going to be organized in Bottle Sarah version 39 when it comes to visual pinball. I just want to bring that to your attention uh, if you want to use that. Uh, but obviously, you know, they tell you exactly what you need to edit to change the pin main path. So you could literally change this to anywhere on your system that you want it to be. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think that's all the uh, news I have right now for Botasera. Alright guys, that's it for now, and I will see you on the next one.